Proudly sponsored by HezHez.co.uk, a fast-growing boxing equipment brand that give 20% of all sales on the branded products back to a boxing gym of your choice. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Niche Sports Match Day vlog. Today we're going to a game which is about as niche as it gets really. We're going to Wakefield Trinity Ladies versus Hulkingston Rovers Ladies. Wakefield Trinity, if they haven't played in over two months, they sit adrift at the bottom of a table. So it's going to be a very challenging match for them. Um, but I'm very excited. Don't know much about both these sides. So uh, it's going to be good good to watch them both today. Uh, I'll be sat up in the Benidorm Flats. But I'll have a great view for this one. Absolutely scorching sunshine, beautiful weather. A great day for rugby league. Let's get to the game. Um, so, as I just said um, at the start of this vlog, it is quite hot and the sun, uh, the sun was out. The sun's already starting to go go uh, go in now. I've checked the weather, heavy rain is expected um, and thunderstorms throughout this game. Um, Kick-offs at 2 o'clock uh, on BBC Weather, it does say the thunderstorms will start at 2 o'clock. Um, so... This is going to be this is going to be a game for the halfbacks, um, a big game for the halfbacks. I'm not too sure on their names, unfortunately. Um, from my limited knowledge, I do know that Hulke will have to will have to watch out for Sophia Lou, uh, Beth Pinto in the Wakefield side, Ebony Hardcastle, a few big names in that side that Hulke will have to look out for. I'm not too sure on the Hulke team yet for this afternoon, but um, I'll let you know when if if and when i get it they don't have a social media page i'm aware of so i'll be able to get through that i've now arrived at the ground kickoff is uh, it's not too far away. i'm not too sure what i'll be able to film today if anything but i'll try to give a half-time chat and a full-time chat okay our ladies at team news is out now i've been watching for Powder drill at the half backs this afternoon. It's not raining yet, it's still dry, but uh, clouds are coming over. Uh, the main difference between the two sides is that Wakefield just have 15 players, whereas Full KR have 19. We'll see how this goes. The kickoff is just 10 minutes away. It has finished here at Wakefield. Wakefield Trinity nil, Full Kingston Rovers, ladies, 6 0. Um, sorry that I, that I've not been able to get much throughout this game. Um, but it was quite an entertaining game. Hulk had a dominant, um, that has to be said. Wakefield had a, a few chances, but they were very few and far between. Um, the main reason for this is the difference in, difference in the amount of players. Hulk KR started with 19, Wakefield started with 15, and it ended up um, Wakefield only having nine available players left, and Hulk KR having a full complement. That being said, then it was um, a fairly impressive performance from uh, from Wakefield to keep it on at 64, 30 0 at half time, 34 0 uh, was was the score in the second half or the points scored in the second half. Um, there was a few few very good players. Um, Ebony Hardcastle, um, Katie Evans looked very strong for Wakefield, um, very strong indeed. Um, and it was a shame that, uh, that, that nothing more came came out of it for, for their and, and to be fair, the full Wakefield team you can you couldn't question their effort. It was it was great effort from from them all. Hull KR too strong on the day though. Um, their number ten scoring a hat trick. I believe their hooker also scored a second half hat trick. Potentially more. Uh, I'm not too sure. As I say, I'm, I'm not too sure on the names and. Uh, I still aren't over the shore of my name, but Hull okay, KR, very, very good performance from them. Wakefield also, within considering circumstances, a good performance from them too. However, it has finished here at the Be Well Support, Be well support Stadium. Wakefield Trinity, nil, Hulkingston Rovers, 64.